Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of smart home protocols. Have you ever wondered how your devices communicate seamlessly to make your life easier? Stick around as we unravel the mysteries of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, Z-Wave, Thread, and Matter. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand how these protocols work but also discover which one reigns supreme. Let's dive right in. Let's start with the basics. In a smart home, protocols are the languages that devices use to communicate. Think of them as the invisible threads tying everything together. First up, we have Wi-Fi, the most familiar option. It's fast and easy to set up, but can slow down with too many devices connected. The advantages of Wi-Fi are 1. High speed, offers fast data transfer rates, enabling quick communication between devices. 2. Widespread availability, most households already have Wi-Fi, making it easy to integrate new devices. 3. Range, good coverage in homes, especially with modern routers. The disadvantages are 1. Bandwidth limitations, can slow down if too many devices are connected, leading to performance issues. 2. Power consumption, higher energy usage compared to low-power alternatives. 3. Security vulnerabilities, more exposed to external threats if not properly secured. Bluetooth has low power consumption, yet it lacks range. Its advantages are 1. Low power consumption, ideal for battery-operated devices, reducing the need for frequent recharging. 2. Easy pairing, simple setup process for connecting devices in close proximity. 3. Cost-effective, generally less expensive to implement. The disadvantages are 1. Limited range, typically effective only within short distances, about 30 feet. 2. Less scalability, not well suited for large networks of devices compared to other protocols. 3. Data transfer limits, slower data transfer rates compared to Wi-Fi. Zigbee expands your network potential but is constrained by device compatibility. Its advantages are 1. Low power usage, designed for energy efficiency, making it suitable for battery-operated devices. 2. Mesh networking, allows devices to connect with one another, extending coverage and reliability. 3. Interoperability, compatible with a wide range of devices and brands. The disadvantages are 1. Limited range, each device must be within signal range of others to communicate effectively, which can limit coverage in larger areas. 2. Device compatibility, not all devices may seamlessly work together due to varying standards. 3. Relatively complex setup, may require a hub, adding a layer of complexity to installation. Z-Wave costs a little more than Zigbee, but its reliability can make all the difference. Its advantages are 1. Long range, effective over greater distances compared to Zigbee, ideal for larger homes. 2. Reliable communication, uses a low frequency signal, which reduces interference with other devices. 3. Good interoperability, designed to work across many devices from different manufacturers. The disadvantages are 1. Higher cost, typically more expensive to implement due to the need for licensed devices. 2. Limited data transfer rate, slower than Wi-Fi, which may affect real-time applications. 3. Requires a hub, like Zigbee, it often needs a hub for effective operation. Thread steps in with its modern approach and adaptability, which looks promising for the future. Its advantages are 1. Low latency, offers quick response times for device communication. 2. Self-healing mesh network, devices can reroute connections if one goes offline, enhancing reliability. 3. Interoperability, aims to work seamlessly with various smart home products, especially those using Matter. Its disadvantage is limited adoption, as a newer protocol, it may not be supported by as many devices as more established protocols. Think of Matter as the key that might unlock the full potential of smart homes everywhere, increasing compatibility among devices drastically. Its advantages are 1. Universal compatibility, designed to unify different ecosystems, allowing devices from various manufacturers to work together seamlessly. 2. Simplified setup, 
aims to make it easier for consumers to add devices to their smart home. 3. Future-proofing represents a growing standard that may gain broader adoption over time. The disadvantages are 1. Still emerging, as a new standard, the full ecosystem is still in development, with varying levels of support. 2. Initial limited device availability, fewer devices are compatible at launch compared to more established protocols. 3. Potential complexity, the transition to a new protocol may require updates to existing setups. So, the big question, which protocol takes the crown? In our opinion, it's matter. Why? Because it promises to bridge the gap between different devices, creating a cohesive smart home experience. Imagine profiling your devices onto a single platform, allowing seamless interactions. And there you have it. Now you're armed with knowledge about smart home protocols and can confidently make decisions about your devices. Remember, the best protocol is the one that fits your lifestyle. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to check out our next video on Top 20 Must-Have Smart Home Devices to Make Life Easier for a complete picture of enhancing your living space. And of course, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.